So today, I'm going to talk about Gecko and the thing that I think might make or break this agent. But we'll just quickly go through his abilities for those of you who haven't seen anything about him. Just very, very quickly, we'll go through them. So the first one is Mosh Pit. This is basically a mix between like a Kaonade and an old Breach Aftershock, basically. You see you've got this big, massive molly here and you might be like, oh my god, but it only goes off once. Okay, so this chamber here isn't taking any damage until it goes off after three seconds. It does 150 damage in the middle. I don't know how much it does on the very edges, but it does 150 in the middle and then falls off towards the edges. So yeah, like a Kaonade Breach Aftershock or the old one kind of mix. The next ability is Dizzy, which is a basically like a Fade Prowler, I think would be the closest comparison. You send it up and it blasts people and it blinds them if it hits them and sees them. And uh, then the thing is with Dizzy though, and this is true for all of the other abilities other than Mosh Pit, is that you can come and reclaim it as you are seeing just here. And that means that you will get the ability back after 10 seconds uh, rather than having to wait like a normal 40 for other initiators. The next ability is Wingman, and Wingman is basically just a raise boom bot, but instead of dealing damage when it goes off, it stuns people instead. You'll see it here, you know, it sees the people, it claps, it, the stun goes off, and uh, they die, right? That's basically what he is, and he does it in a cone, you'll see it there on the ground, and it stuns you. And yes, Wingman does have an alternate fire where he can both plant and defuse the spike. As you can see here, a lot of people have been going crazy about this, but I trust me, this is not what we're going to be focusing on today. And then finally, the ultimate is Thrash. And Thrash is basically a sky dog that when you hit people, it uh, detains them. Now, detain is a very strong keyword. It's the strongest keyword in the game uh, because they can do literally nothing. It's only for five seconds. A killjoy lockdown is normally 10. So it's half of that. Uh, but it is, you know, I think still a pretty strong ult. It costs seven points. But the thing that is going to make or break this agent is how often you can reclaim the abilities because you can't reclaim the mosh pit and you can only do it twice for the ult. But if you keep reclaiming these abilities, this agent goes from, if I describe this agent to you where we've got one raise boom bot, one fade prowler and one kind of bad KO molly, you'd probably like, that's not a great agent at all. That's probably the weakest agent in the game. But if I said to you, oh, the new agent's got one bad KO molly, but it's got four or five fade prowlers and two raise boom bots in a round, you'd probably like, oh, that sounds pretty good, right? And that's the difference. That is the difference as to whether you can keep reclaiming these abilities. This is how you have to be thinking about this agent overall. And this is going to lead to some different scenarios. I think in particular on attack sides, where it's probably going to be a bit easier to reclaim those abilities, right? I think Gecko is going to be, you know, more of an attacking side agent because, yeah, reclaiming those abilities probably will be easier on that attack side. And, and some of his other abilities as well, like Mosh Pit, I think is just better for the attack side also. So I think on attacking side, he will be pretty good. But on defensive side, you need, I think you need to be finding ways of being proactive with the abilities and, you know, taking space on defensive side and then being able to reclaim those abilities as well so you can have them again. Because if you aren't and you only have one Fade Prowler, one Boom Bot and a bad KO Molly, yeah, that's not going to be a great defensive agent at all. And so that is the thing that really, really matters. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Fracture and we're going to play out what I think like a, a good round of Gecko might look like. And you'll see how scary potentially Gecko can be if we are playing the agent correctly, right? So let's say we're starting out here on Fracture and let's say we want to start our Gecko is going to be played by Yoru here. Let's say we want to start off with a bit of pressure towards, uh, towards the drop here. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to send out our first ability, which is our, our E here. And we're going to, you know, that's like a Fade Prowler. So let's say we send a Fade Prowler down here. And let's say it does hit the Rays, right? So our Rays here, our enemy Rays, gets hit by it and they fall back. But we don't know if they've fallen back or not or if there's multiple people there. So we decide to send in our, our next ability, which is kind of like a Rays Boom Bop, right? The Wingman. We're going to send in uh, the Wingman and just send him in down here and okay didn't see anyone uh that that space is now clear right then let's say okay we want to actually retrieve these now okay so we're going to come and retrieve these orbs and then come back as a team and we're actually going to come towards arcade but our viper here who's been here is a bit unsure whether we've been pushed here right whether the, the enemies are actually in here or not hasn't quite seen maybe it's been a smoke or whatnot so we decide okay well no problem we've got this uh fade prowler back again from when uh you know we picked up the first time we're gonna send it in here okay there's no one there 
right? And so we come up here and, and we start to take a bit of space. Now we got our boom bot back as well. So we're going to send in our second boom bot of the round and we're going to send it down here, right? And it's going to clear all this out for us. Okay, no one's there either. We're going to pick back up this fade pal. Then, okay, maybe we want to clear out underneath. Our cipher hasn't really seen too much here. So they're going to start clearing out this way with us. We're going to come back to them as well and start clearing it. But we're a bit wary about turning this corner. Don't quite know what's going on over here. So what do we do? We send out our fade prowler again. In it comes. Wee wee. Send it in. Okay. Yeah. No one's there again. Okay. I'm going to come pick this back up. And, uh, you know, we're starting to come in here as well. Okay, we're getting ready for this split exec to come in onto the site. So what am I going to do? I'm going to send in uh, another Fade Prowler because we've waited enough time. And I'm going to send in my Skydog ult and uh, and manage to uh, detain uh, the Astra here. In we come. Astra's dead. Yay, yay, yay. We get the site. And uh, I'm going to come pick this back up again and uh, pick both of these up as we come in, secure the site and plant the spike. And so now I've got a uh, second Skydog here that I can use for the post plant. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to send in my Fade Prowler just quickly as the opponents maybe are coming you know in onto the site now or whatnot i'm gonna send that in maybe it hits them or maybe it doesn't doesn't really matter and i'm gonna send in my second ult here and detain them and then oh just for good kicks and giggles uh we've got uh this as well uh to put a ko molly on the spike for post plant sounds pretty good right so we just use one two three four five six seven eight nine nine abilities in this round and that is what a good gecko will look like right that is the crucial crucial difference because if we only use three abilities in a round that's no good right but if we can do this then that's gonna be op right and so that is gonna be the crux of this agent how easy is that to do i don't know right now none of us probably do uh, but if this is even remotely plausible that this could happen you know fairly often in a round then this agent is going to be very, very strong, of course, because you can just overwhelm your opponents with so much utility from just one agent. And that is going to be so, so big to figuring out, you know, where this agent is going to be good and how this agent should be used. But there I kind of gave you like the best case how you want to be playing this agent scenario. And I think for attack side, it is going to be pretty good. But on defense side, this agent could be pretty weak. I think the molly is much weaker on the defensive side. And also, I think it's going to be harder to pick up those orbs on defensive side, right? For instance, let's say that, you know, we do the same thing. Let's say we're defending B main here on Ascent, right? And so we send out, you know, our, 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 our raised boom bot, you know, which is very similar to the raised boom bot here, our wingman. He's going to come in B main. Maybe it gets shot. Maybe it doesn't. But if the orb ends up here, am I going to come running out here on my own? you know, open to, you know, all these angles down here? Probably not, right? And so that is going to be a main difference, that you have to be very, very proactive with this agent. You have to be, you know, taking space and wanting to reclaim those orbs because the difference between having three abilities and having, you know, eight or nine is absolutely monumental, right? It's such a massive gap. And so that is how you should be thinking about playing this agent and trying to just reclaim those orbs as often as you can and then just spam your opponents with abilities all throughout the game.